Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have some more cards to share with you that feature the Butterfly Brilliance bundle. So today I thought we would focus on a, kind of a simple little spotlight technique. And we'll use some of the products, of course, from this bundle. And we'll use the um, designer paper and the stamp set. And I'll show you how to do these simple little spotlighting technique. So this is one of the cards that we will make. Hi, good morning. Good morning, too. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp a little background. And then we're going to do some spotlighting with the designer paper. So I've cut out all the butterflies from the designer paper, and we're going to use those to do our spotlighting. So you'll notice that in the background, I have, you know, this kind of muted background with some smoky slate or some gray ink. And then um, we spotlight it by adding this pop of color. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So good morning, everyone. So this is the stamp set that I will be using. It's called Butterfly Brilliance. And it's actually um, six butterflies that are all on one stamp. So let me show you that. So it's one gigantic stamp, <laughs> basically, um, which is really nice because obviously you can stamp these all at once and they're all in different directions. So it makes it look like they're all flying together. So I really like that. And then the other thing, and I showed you this, I think last time, but there is a die in that goes with this particular stamp set that cuts out all of these butterflies. So the cool thing is it cuts out all of the butterflies in the designer paper. So you can see it fits all six of the butterflies here. And these butterflies are the exact same butterflies that are in the stamp set. So not only does the die cut out the designer paper, but it also cuts out, obviously, the images in the stamp set. Okay, so let me move these cards here. And we are going to start, I think we'll start with this one. So I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper. So what we're going to do to create this card is we're just gonna stamp our little background first. And I'm just using some white cardstock. And I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit here because we're going to stamp right over the top of this card front here. And I'm just using Smoky Slate ink for all of this stamping. So we'll just ink up this big image. So I like to just, you know, use my stamp pad upside down to ink up this image so I can actually see it and make sure that I'm getting all of the images covered in ink. And what I'm going to do is I want to tear this edge. So you'll notice here, let me move this on screen. You'll notice I have this torn edge here. And on the inside, I just have a little piece of designer paper that kind of shows to the outside when we close the card. So I'm going to stamp this so it's kind of off to the left a little bit. And I want to spotlight this big uh, swallowtail image. So we'll go right about there. So this is the image that I want to spotlight right here. OK. So I'm going to set this aside. So now that I have the image stamped, I'm just going to do my favorite paper tearing. <laughs> I seem to be stuck on this paper tearing lately. I'm going to move this out of the way. So notice how I left myself just a little bit of space so that I could kind of tear this all the way down. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a couple of things here. Let me just grab them. So I have a piece of designer paper that I'm using from the Butterfly Bijou, I think is what it's called, from that 
new paper pack. And I'm just gonna add this on the inside of the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right away. So this is the piece that will show through to the, out, the outside of the card when we close it. So there, so that gives you just a nice look and you can do that with any designer paper. And then I'm going to take the butterfly image. So I cut out all of those butterfly images from the designer paper using that die. So I'm just gonna use this large butterfly image here and I'm gonna actually adhere this one flat. So we'll just add a little bit of glue here. So the key to the spotlighting is that I'm actually gonna be adhering the images directly over the stamped image, the coordinating stamped image. So you can see how it gives it a nice little background. I know exactly where to adhere this little guy or this big guy. <laughs> and that is how you put that together. See how simple that is? And then um, before I add my little greeting, I'm gonna just tie a little bit of twine around here. So I, I'll show you guys how to do that. Let me move this out of the way. So I'm going to add just a little bit of twine on the side of this card just to dress it up a little bit. Now I added twine to all my cards, so I won't, I probably won't show you how to do this on all of them, but I'll show you this one. So we'll just add this. I'm going to crisscross it. And the reason I'm adding it is because I'm gonna put my greeting right over the top of my twine. Okay, we'll straighten this out a little bit. Trim off the excess. All right. So I always tie my bows upside down. I think I told you guys that just because they seem to lay a little bit better. And then let me trim this off. Okay, so now that I have this little twine on here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my little greeting. So I did some embossing with um, some black cardstock. I just took a thank you from a different stamp set because this particular stamp set does not have um, greetings in it. So I just used a greeting from a different stamp set. You can use um, any stamp set to create your greeting. And so now I'm just gonna pop this up right on the card and it gives it a nice pop of, I like that kind of bold look of the black along with the pop of color from the butterfly. So it really just kind of draws out the color in the butterfly and um, has a really nice bold look. So pretty simple, right? And then I used some of the, um, some of these, well, let me find them here. These are the little sequins and they've already got adhesive on them. And then I just dressed it up. These are from the Artistry Blooms. Uh, sweet. And it worked out perfect because these colors actually match the colors that are in this particular um, designer paper. So there you go. So it's just a fun way to spotlight your butterfly images. So I'm going to show you a couple more because you can kind of play around with um, the design. So let me show you this one. So this one, I'm actually gonna spotlight this image. So you have to pay attention to which image you wanna spotlight. I'm gonna bring back my paper here. So in order to spotlight that image, I'm gonna just turn this around. <laughs> I'll just lay this right here. So in order to spotlight this image, 
I need to make sure that this particular part of the stamp is on the right side of the card. Because if I stamp it too far over, I'm not going to be able to create this particular design that I want to create. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to just add some ink here to the whole entire image. And then I'm going to put my white cardstock down again. And this time, I'm, instead of stamping over to the left, I'm going to stamp more over to the right. So I want to make sure that I'm leaving enough space so that I can highlight that image. Let's put this down. So I can highlight that image and I can add my additional um, designer paper. So not only did I pop up this image, I also added some, you know, some more color kind of on the side of the card. So the pieces of paper that I'm using are just one inch wide and they go the full length of the card. So they're five and a half inches long. And so this one I'm just going to adhere right along the side here. Oop, I got a little glue oozing out there. <laughs> got a little carried away with the glue. <laughs> okay, and then um, I'm just going to use my little paper tearing. Eventually I'll get off the paper tearing kick. Maybe not. <laughs> I can't decide. So this is just a three quarter inch wide piece of Blushing Bride cardstock. It's the same length as the card, so it's five and a half. And I'm basically just tearing this piece. And so then I'll just smooth this out. So I'm gonna use this piece on the front, and then I used the other piece on the inside of the card to decorate the inside of the card. So that's kind of the fun thing about doing this paper tearing is you can use up your scraps right, right away to uh, decorate the inside of the card. Okay, so we'll add this guy here. And I'm just going to adhere that right on, right on that edge of the designer paper. So you see how it fills that in nicely? And then I'm, I won't show you how to tie the twine, but the twine just goes wrapped around the entire card front. And then I have my little butterfly that I cut out from the designer paper. So that is just gonna go right over the stamped butterfly that I have here. And then of course you can add your, your little greetings and all your sequins and, and that kind of fun stuff. So there's the, the second card I wanted to show you. And then again, I used the leftovers on the inside here and just added another piece of designer paper. All right, and then, whoops, <laughs> my twine rolled away. Then where does my other cards here? Then let's do this one. So this one has a little different look. So um, I wanna show you how to create this design. So let me bring back my paper here. So this is this card is in landscape style. So I want to highlight the butterfly that is on. Well, let's move this out of the way so that I don't drop this. I want to highlight the butterfly that is on this upper part right here. So that's the butterfly I'm highlighting on this particular card. So in order to do that, I decided to change the orientation of the card so that um, so that it's landscape style. So I am just going to flatten this out a little bit more here. Okay, so I'll ink this up again. So as you can see, you can just, I'm, I'm highlighting every single one of the butterflies on this, um, on this stamp. So by doing that, I just have to position my butterflies a little bit differently when I do the stamping. So let's see, let's go right about here. So 
So now I have my butterfly. The one I want to highlight is front and center there. And I have a little bit of extra space off on the side. So I'm just gonna ink up my image again. And then I'm just going to kind of stamp it sideways. Are you guys able to see this? So that I can add just a little bit over here on this side. So this one you have to do two stamping, two, two stamping, <laughs> stamp it twice. All right, so there's that. So then you get a fun little look. And again, I use the same, uh, same pattern paper. I just changed out the colors. So it's the same size. It's just a one by five and a half. And that will put across the top part of the card. So we'll put this up here. And of course, I did a little bit of paper tearing because I think it just kind of makes the colors in the designer paper pop a little bit. So I'm almost spotlighting it just by using this colored paper. And I'll save this piece for the inside. So we'll put this one on the outside. So the cool thing about this is that you can make um, six cards because there's six butterfly images in that particular piece of designer paper. So I'm using all six to make six different cards. And if, with each card, I'm spotlighting a different butterfly. So. And then this will just get popped up right there. And then we can go ahead and add yeah, on this one. I just wrapped some more twine on there and then used my um, embossed thank you note added some sequins. So just another fun way to spotlight this particular image. So let's see, I'm trying to separate these so I can show them all to you at the end. And then here is another image. So these are the remaining images that I have that I cut from the designer paper. So I have this blue one and then I have these two small ones. So for this one, we're gonna use, we're gonna spotlight this particular image. Let me grab my paper again. So to do that, you'll notice, I keep putting the paper down, but <laughs> I'm gonna turn this upside down here. So what you'll notice is that this particular image is down on the bottom here. So for this card, I had to stamp it more towards the top so that I could spotlight that image on the bottom. I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> it's kind of fun to just play around with this. Okay, so I just need to make sure it's up high enough. And this is the image we're spotlighting down there. So there we go. And then again, I'm just going to add some of those designer paper pieces. Now, this time my paper is not five and a half inches long. It's four and a quarter inches, but it's still one inches wide. One inch, one inches. <laughs> hey, I can't talk this morning. We'll put that on there. Let's get this out of the way. And then I just cut a smaller piece of one of the patterns just to kind of decorate the top. So this is just a half inch wide and it's four and a quarter inches long. So I just kind of felt like I wanted to add a little bit more color up towards the top. You don't have to add that piece if you like it the way it was. And then of course I'm using more cardstock to do my paper tearing. <laughs> so we'll add this and this is just going to go across the bottom 
just I just kind of feel like this finishes it off really nice. So we'll add that. And then I already have a little bow tied for this one. This one I didn't do the wrapping of the twine. This one I just created um, a little bow here, took two pieces of twine and tied them together to create a little bow. So that just goes off to the side and you can trim that down. And then I took that same thank you sentiment and I, or greeting, and I just uh, cut it down so that I could layer it on the card here. So I'm just gonna layer this on here. And then we'll tuck this one underneath here. And then we'll put our other butterfly on to do our spotlighting. So notice how as I'm doing these cards, I'm just changing out the colors to coordinate with the, the color of the butterfly. And there you go. Cute, right? And then I used up the leftovers on the inside. So, and you could also stamp the gray images on the inside too as well. Okay, so that is, what card am I on? Number four, I think. Oops, yeah, I need this. And then this last one, I decided to spotlight the, the remaining two um, butterflies on this particular card. So let me show you how I did that. So the, the thing about these last two butterflies is that there's one up here and there's one down here. So it's a little bit tricky to make sure that you get it on your card correctly. <laughs> so we'll see if I'll be able to do it. <laughs> it's not really tricky, you just, I just have to pay attention. All right, so we're gonna ink this up. So this time, I'm gonna put this butterfly right here, this one. I want that in the upper corner. So when I flip my stamp over, I better move this out of the way. <laughs> when I flip my stamp over, you'll see that it's in the upper corner here, upper right-hand corner. So I'm just going to turn this a little bit. And oops, I think I might've gone off the card. <laughs> Well, I guess it is a little bit tricky. Oh, nope, I'm on the card. Just an optical illusion. <laughs> okay, and then this other one is on the bottom here. So it's on the bottom here. So when I flip this over, we have to get this guy somewhere off here. So let's do right about there, I think. So basically I'm just using, you know, each side of the stamp to try to create these little, um, to get these little, two little butterflies on here. All right, so, so it's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna pop these little guys up here. I'm just gonna show you how to how to spotlight it. And then you can really decorate it any way you want. So I just added some designer paper across the center here. You could leave this open and just add your greeting however you wanna do it. But I just added a couple little scrap pieces of designer paper and then put my little greeting on there and that was it. All right. So as you can see, I'm gonna bring these back. These are some great little spotlighting cards and a great way for you to use all six of these butterflies. So notice how I used all six. Let me grab the designer paper again. So here's the designer paper. So I used all six of the butterflies here from this piece of paper to create these five cards because I put the two on that one card. Now just one other thing, well a couple other things I want to share with you. So besides using, you know, kind of the gray color that I have here to do my spotlighting, you can actually, I did the exact same design, 
except for I actually used uh, Blushing Bride cardstock and Blushing Bride ink to kind of create that muted background. So you can see that um, I have the same design, same butterfly design in the background here. I just used a different color ink and a different color cardstock. So that's that one. And then you can also use the same color ink as your butterfly. So in this case, I'm using the Daffodil Delight to stamp my butterfly images in the background. And then I'm spotlighting with the Daffodil Delight butterfly. Whereas in this case, I was just using the gray in the background and then spotlighting with the yellow. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this technique. I just wanted to share a couple of ideas with you. And I've just been having a lot of fun with this particular uh, product bundle. So this is an early release. It's coming out in the new catalog, but you can get it now. So you can get additional details on this collection, this Butterfly Brilliance collection, um, by clicking on the link that I featured in the description with this video. It'll take you right to my blog where you'll be able to view all of these cards and get more information on this collection. All right. So um, I think that's all I had for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed these card ideas and I will see you again next week. So have a wonderful Sunday and a great week. Take care, everybody.